hello welcome to today's vlog actually a vlog of the whole month um i tried something different this month and i just kind of wanted to capture a few moments from i don't know this time where oh, there's a lot going on right now i have to say that i know that spring time is a time of change but as an autistic human change is also very difficult for me so i don't know i haven't been having the best time lately i've also been like overthinking a lot of stuff to do with like life generally and youtube and what it means to be a human on the internet i really have been enjoying making my sewing videos but i also want to share with you guys like a little bit of my personality too so i don't want it to just be sewing i'll also explain later on why i decided to change my channel name make sure you stay to the end so that you can find that out let's let's dive right into the vlog On the very first day of September, I went to donate plasma, which I hadn't done in a little while. And then I went to meet up with my mum to go shopping for a wedding present for my cousin, and we hung out looking at clothes and ate some cake. My mum taught me how to sew, so we're always looking at garments together and analysing them. I caught the bus home from the city, and I actually kind of like catching the bus places because I can enjoy all the scenery along the way. And we moved recently, so I get to discover these new bus routes and all the nice things to see along the journey. Then I followed Rachel Metz's advice and I bought myself the damn flowers and I set them up in the house. I tried to make the most of my time off uni during these couple of weeks that I had a little break and I really was just kind of enjoying settling into our new house and I love this vase that my best friend gave to me. Thank you Jess, I love you. <laughs> Saturday and I'm about to go to one of the best places ever in the world, but first I need a coffee. So if you don't know what a lamington is, then wow, sucks for you. Lamington is one of Australia's greatest inventions. New Zealanders will try and tell you that they invented it, but as if anything great, comes out of New Zealand. Australia's gonna claim it either way. The Kiwis don't have any chance. It is a sponge cake, two sponge cakes. And in the middle there, you can see the jam and the cream. And then it's covered in chocolate and coconut. And it's heaven, absolute heaven. And this one's so big that I can't barely even get my mouth around it. I'm gonna go to Ikea, get some stuff. Finally having a chance to like actually sort of set up our new place is really great. I've been enjoying just actually finally tidying up some stuff and arranging some stuff and putting some things on the walls. It's really nice to be able to set up a house. I know that I could have done it in the rentals that we've had previously but in my mind it just seemed like such a sunk cost that I didn't want to invest that time and effort into it. So people are looking at me weirdly because I'm sitting and drinking a coffee in the car and talking to myself but you know what whatever. So if you're ever in Sydney and you are in Marrickville I recommend Roseville coffee roasters, they do really good food and they do really, really, really good coffee. And also they have really great lemon tins, which I only just discovered today. Alright, I think I'm gonna go now. We'll see you at Ikea. At Ikea I got even more things for the house because I'm really loving setting things up. I might share some of the things I bought with you in a video and get some things in mind as well for the future. Did I say that I love Ikea? If you don't like Ikea, we can't be friends. We can't. That's how much I love Ikea. Anyone who disses Ikea just like needs to practice their visual thinking and like ability to follow instructions. That's all it is. Just like practice your visual mind. The biggest achievement of the day though was that I kept seeing things I wanted to buy but I resisted and everyone knows that's how you win the Ikea game. I'm calling Steph 1 point Ikea 0. I also had some ideas about things to make using stuff from the reject pile, which is my favorite part of the shop. I'm so happy. I got almost all the things I wanted today and I can't go home. Wait, I can't even talk properly because I'm so excited. That's how much I love Ikea. <laughs> I can't wait to like go home and put all the things together and like make all the places look really nice with all the stuff that I got. 
<laughs> Look at this hair go, it's so excited. Just on the weekend warrior, bingo is a trip to Bunnings. Just because I love DIY on a Saturday, genuinely though. But also I feel like this Bunnings is going to be really busy and that's going to stress me out. Wish me luck. After Ikea, as I said, I went to Bunnings to get even more things for the house. If I had gone to Kmart, this would have truly been a Saturday trifecta, but I was a bit done with peopling and I'd already spent enough money and I'd, I had enough things to carry. Didn't need any more stuff from Kmart, but you know, they always want more stuff from Kmart, who doesn't? Before all y'all ask me if I had a sausage, no of course I didn't have a fucking sausage, I'm a vegetarian. If anyone knows of a Bunnings that has vegetarian options, hit me up because I will go there and I will eat one. I'm not used to vlogging. I'm going to Spotlight. Oh, that's not, that's not a thing. <laughs> I was really living it up on my days off in between uni terms here with a Friday trip to Spotlight. I got some supplies I needed for a dress I was making and another project which was going to involve dyeing some fabric and making a top. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that. It took me a while to decide which dye to buy. Here I am showing you the options that I was going through. A peachy colour, a blue colour or an orange colour. There's no doubt I'm going through a bit of an orange phase. So I resisted the orange and I went with the complimentary blue because I don't have that many blue things in my wardrobe at the moment and I'm kind of feeling like maybe I want to take it that direction. I have the things I need, but since I'm in spotlight, I might as well look at the fabric. We all know that fabric is an addiction and I managed to just look and not buy anything more when I went to Spotlight this day, which is another achievement similarly to what happens at Ikea. Very proud of myself. She who dies with the most fabric wins. So this was difficult to turn down, I gotta say. I took a break and had a coffee and sat and sketched some ideas about some things that I wanna make. Hopefully I have time to make them soon. The alarm went on my watch, which meant it was time to take my ADHD medication. Recently I was diagnosed with ADHD and I've started taking medication, which has honestly changed my life. So I wanted to start normalizing that taking any kind of medication that you need to get through your day to day. I know some people get awkward about it or they feel ashamed to do it or that they shouldn't need it. But if you need it, take it. There should be absolutely no shame at all. And yes, I took my stimulant medication, a stimulant beverage, and I don't care. Come at me in the comments. Come at me, see if I can. Oh, that's not in a good spot, is it? Not what I needed. Now I'm gonna go home. Yay! I'm having a shit day. And yeah, it's not getting much better. I woke up in a mood. Traffic's really bad. I had some road rage at a guy who like bit me for like just following the fucking rules. And now I'm late to class and yeah, I'm shitty. Day's still shitty, but I have snacks and I'm driving to the farm. Finished uni for the week. I'm going alone, which I'm actually not mad about. I could use some time just by myself. Just me and my pimple. Naturally with an ADHD brain, you try to fill your time with so many things and you forget to rest and that definitely describes exactly what I do. I really didn't take enough time to chill during my two week break from uni and so I was grateful for some alone time at the farm. 
I had invited other people to come, but they couldn't make it, and I wasn't really upset about that. I hadn't been up to the farm since Easter, so I was really happy to finally go up and take some time to recharge. I actually ended up spending the whole weekend filming and sewing, so again, it wasn't a typically relaxing time, but I was on my own, so I could just really be myself. I ate my safe foods, I sung at the top of my lungs, and I generally just leaned into myself. Friday. Got my hair did. We're going to Canberra later. I need to buy my mum a birthday present. I guess when this video comes out she'll know that I only did it on the day. Sorry mum, love you. We headed down to Canberra late on a Friday and I actually did some editing in the car on the way just for you guys. I hope you appreciate the effort I put in for you to get these weekly videos happening. Hello, good morning. It's Saturday and we're in Canberra. Um, my, it's my cousin's wedding later today. I feel like whenever I do a vlog, it's always for a wedding. And by always, I mean this is the second time I've done this. I used to live in Canberra, in case you didn't know. You can go catch up more about how I feel about Canberra up here. Because yeah, I used to live here and I have very fond memories and fond feelings about Canberra. Just funny because a lot of people don't. Anyway, I'm going to go for a run, I'm going to go have brunch with a friend, and then the wedding is this afternoon. And I made my dress that I'm going to wear. And I can't wait to show you guys. Yeah. A lot of people had that. I think it's because Floriad is on. Anyway, we're coming here later for the wedding. <laughs> Can you tell that I'm excited? You know it's a nice day in Canberra when you can run in just your bra. Beautiful today. After my morning run, we caught up with one of our close friends who we don't get to see that much anymore since she moved to Melbourne, but she was in town, so that was great. Then we headed to Floriade, which is this massive flower festival every spring in Canberra. The weather was absolutely stunning and we had a lovely time walking around looking at the flowers. There was also this big call on World's Best Nuts. Big call. For anyone who likes lots of colours and flowers, then I highly recommend going to Canberra just for this event. It's, it's great.
to Floriard, we stopped and had a little bit of lunch before getting ready for the wedding, which was the main event of the weekend, of course. This was the first opportunity that I'd had to dance with my whole family since our own wedding a couple of years ago. Um, I had a really great time and a terrible, terrible headache the next day. Oh, and here's my dress that I made, which I will show you in a video next week. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I had a really fun time. Let me just take these off real quick. The other thing I wanted to say is that I changed my channel name, if you noticed, from Unsolicited Steph to Welcome to Steph. If you've been around since the early days, then you know that Unsolicited Steph was about sort of life advice and things like that. I realized that a couple of things, like unsolicited advice is not always welcome to people. And also unsolicited is a really difficult word to spell. So if anyone was trying to find my channel from the channel name or find my Instagram, then they might have been having a hard time. So I've decided to call it Welcome to Steph because I want it to be about capturing an authentic perspective which is always difficult when you're on the internet because I think as you would all know like this isn't necessarily an incredibly accurate um, depiction of life if you follow lots of vlogs and channels like that but I wanted to make it welcome to Steph because this is like a little snapshot of my life welcome to the things that I care about welcome to the things that I do with my time I don't want it to just be sewing I want it to be about the vibes <laughs> as well as the activities and the hobbies. I think that I have been really struggling for a lot of my life with finding my sense of authentic identity. I think that's related to being an undiagnosed, highly masking autistic person who also has ADHD. When you are that kind of person, I'm sure that there are people here like that. Like you have a very loose sense of self because you're constantly trying to perform how you think you're meant to act. And in that process, you lose yourself quite a bit and it's only in the last couple of months that I've been really tuning into uh, who I am at an authentic and honest level, being honest with myself. If you want me to talk more about it, let me know because I'd be happy to talk about it. It's not fully really the content of this channel. Like I know that a lot of people here are here for the sewing content, but if you want me to share my diagnosis experience and what that involved and sort of how that's ended up changing my life considerably, then let me know and I will I will do that for you guys. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I hope that you stick around to see more vlogs and more sewing projects. So far so good with sticking to the weekly upload and I want to keep going because I am having a really fun time making these videos for you guys. I've rambled on enough. I'll see you guys next week for another video. It's going to be about how I made the dress I wore at my cousin's wedding. So I hope you uh, tune in for that and remember to subscribe before you go and also check out my Instagram. I'm trying to share a bit more stuff there too. Thanks for being here and thanks for watching. I love you guys. Bye.